All right, guys, so continuing from yesterday's video, we're at 1303 MMR. Uh, we're almost in the top 100 now. Um, and we've actually only lost one game in this series so far. I think it was to Brisky uh, in the first video. Hopefully we can continue that win streak since then, but let's get right into it. We're gonna do three games and see where we end up at. I got the first game of the video, we got I Ricky. Oh, I forgot to turn my MMR back on. <laughs> I don't know. I'll uh, put that back on after this game. Let's uh, see how this goes. There you go, flick it up nice and high for him. It's pretty difficult to save it. We got the booster for him. He's no, He's very low now. Oh, did I get it? Nice. Yeah, sorry. I was pretty quiet there. Just taking a focus moment to uh, take the touch that I want. Not the greatest first flip there, but it ends up giving me the space to get it over him. You should have the ball here. Up the wall. It's a good flip. A little bit too high, though. Should have popped it over him, bump him under the wall. Take these two pads, try and angle towards the goal. Might be fast enough. So he had a pretty good uh, follow up on the recovery. Uh, but I was able to bump him out of the way. Let's see how his kickoff is. Try to slow it down really, really far, which actually gives me the boost. Made a pretty good hit towards the net. It's right in, yeah, that was a pretty good shot. Did he expect them to be so aggressive with his low boost? But I sure respected the shot. There we go. It's a good 50 50. He'll, he'll have this ball first. I'm okay with that touch. He left me some space here. Make it really awkward for him to save well. There we go. I'm surprised he tacked that from the corner. Get that really awkward for him to clear. Can't really go for his, his corner boost. He'll have this. It's a good 50. I'm surprised he went for that again. Very aggressive. I missed the shot. He'll have the ball here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, we don't talk about those. We're gonna move on from that. Played this guy before and he is a really good player. I'm surprised that happened. <laughs> Dude is here. Got it over him. Staying composed, waiting for him to challenge into me. Pretty slow start for me at the beginning, but we're picking it back up. Get 52, get the boost. Oh dang, try to do like a delayed wave dash. Could be a gold too. Yeah, that's a good finish. Um, try to do like a delayed wave dash and then into a pop. Just didn't work out. Could have just taken clinical there and just made a, a proper ground shot. I think I have to do a good save. Pop it around him. He'll get my boost with that, but I'll be able to take this back corner. Alright, so he didn't notice I was super far back. That's fine. He'll challenge me right away. Surprised I didn't demo him there. He's gonna probably backflip into this because he's he's got the boost advantage. And him doing that, I actually get some space to get some pads. You might think I'm pretty low here, but I'm not. This is super awkward. With this backflip, he's going to slow his momentum down to the point where I can get the boost. And there we go. Just pushed up a little bit too far with uh, his momentum. Was able to get it around him. When people backflip like that, they lose a lot of their speed, so they're going to have to use usually quite a bit of their boost. 
to get back in the momentum. Should have realized he was going to do that. It's pretty recovery. He'll turn on this and probably try to get a chip. I'm going to go a little bit earlier than normal. Let's see what he does here. It's a good pop. Not too worried about it. I'm just going to get these pads here. I might take an immediate shot. Which is fine. I might take it another one. There we go. Try to get the boost on that touch. I'm going to flick immediately because he might challenge. I'm going to try and bump him. Didn't quite. No. <laughs> I did not play that well, but I tried to recover it. He really should have had a, a goal before. Not too worried about that. Change up the kickoff. Do a little bit of a slower one this time. Surprised he challenged. I, gotta, I shouldn't really be surprised at this point because he keeps keeps doing it. I fake this. Probably could have just went. Good flick. It's pretty bad of me to challenge like that when we're up at the field. He hasn't had too many threatening uh, final shots, so for me to push up like that, it's pretty bad. All right, it's decent. Alright, he has boost position here. I don't want to be too aggressive. There we go. He's been jumping up for those pretty early in the past, so... So pop it away. He has pretty good boost control here. It's pretty dangerous for me to challenge like that, but I'm going to try it anyway. Only one goal up. There we go. He might bump me or something. Hopefully I got that on target. I did not, but I can finish it off. That was pretty scary. If I didn't get that fin fin finish of the touch, uh, I would have been screwed. He would have had a free position on the field. But we'll jump right into... Uh, the next game, well, before we go into the next game, actually, we'll check the uh, leaderboard, see how many I actually got, because I'd like to see how many points I got after every, every game. Um, but we are at 1303 right now. So we'll hop out of this real quick. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I know that I've done like three of these videos in a row, um, just because I don't really have much else on the table. I have, I have some videos planned for tomorrow and uh, Tuesday, but as far as... Um, like unique videos. I've been working on a few maps. Alright, so we're at 1311 actually. That's not too bad. Not in the, the top 100 yet, but you know, we're only 8 points away. We should be able to get it in this video, hopefully. Oh boy, we got 1397 Kali, uh, Kali RL or Call IRL. I'm not sure which one. Went really fast on that kickoff. He's very aggressive. Let me turn on this immediately. Let's see what he does here. Trying to bait me into a 50. There we go. Should be okay. Trying to do a boost possession here. I don't want to go in too early. He's pretty fast at turning. Okay, yeah. So he's trying to bait in the low 50 50s. It's worked the last two times, so I gotta be really mindful of that. But he's basically trying to, just trying to hold in a possession the whole time. Really fast kickoffs. Positioning is confusing me a little bit, but shouldn't be too bad. I'll stay with this, which is fine. Brings it around. There we go. Pop him on the head. <laughs> and we get the first goal. So that's pretty impossible to save if you get it set up properly. Basically, just pop it up. Like one final touch on the ball and then just stay right below it. So you can't do anything with the ball. He's doing really fast kickoff though. I have to be really, really careful. I don't do fast kickoffs in ones. Should work out alright for me. There we go. I'll get a low 50 50. Faded him a little bit too close uh, for the 50. Ended up staying pretty solid in front. Um, what I noticed was he was going to either try and bump me off that kickoff. Or uh, or go for the immediate touch. 
and uh, he actually didn't either. I'll put it across because he's low boost. He tried to stay relevant on the ball. There you go, low 50-50. I -50. got the panic. It's pretty good touch. I don't want to touch this again. He's going to have the ball though. There we go. Bump into the net. Perfect. So I played a, little, played a little bit poorly before in that corner. I could have held onto the ball and got the boost. Uh, but I made a missed touch uh, beforehand. There we go. Nice finish as well. Okay, we're picking it up here. So I was looking a little bit shaky at the beginning. I was a little bit worried that, you know, he's he's probably a, he's a one's main, I think. So uh, you never know how that's going to go. Be hard to save, but it's not on target. Am I trying to demo me here? I can get the boost. Maybe bring it in. A low 50 50. Not the greatest hit, though. A little bit greedy to go for this boost, but I'm going to do it anyway. Go for this boost. Try and pop him off if I can. There we go. Be all right. I don't want to commit too hard on this because I have low boost. Well, that's a pretty good flick. He's gonna have it though across. So we gotta beat him here. There we go. Just do a little bit of a boost feather to make sure I'm in the direction of the, the goal. Um, I could tell I was gonna beat him if I went, and it's really just important if he goes that I stay confident in my attack. Uh, if I do go and he doesn't, it's actually pretty dangerous for me. There we go. Let's bait him in a little bit. Ow. So I found out that if I don't go on his attacks, it's actually pretty easy to deal with him. It's only when you commit that uh, you get in a weird situation. Well, that's a good save. I'm going to try and bump him, get in his way. It's all right. Once again, just baiting him in. Should be all right. It's no boost. There we go. Just one I keep saying there we go, by the way. I saw the comments from last video. Oh, is it top corner? Nice. That was really clean. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a nice flick. I really like that. I'm going to watch that back. Um, yeah, I noticed that I said there we go a lot. And uh, I'm trying to fix it. But honestly... You know, something's just working in my favor and I'm just happy with it, so it happens. Alright, see if we can get a Brazil here. Nope. Good boost usage by him on the kickoff. That's a decent bump by him. But I'm pretty sure he's low boost to the point where I can probably score this. There we go. So we got a Brazil on a player who's, I think, top like. I don't even know. I'll have to check after this game. It's 1397. All right. He's doing that fast kickoff. It doesn't really work that well. I don't know why people do it that often because it, it's really easily counterable. That's perfect. There we go. Pretty nice shot. Yeah, we're playing pretty clinical. Not too bad. to get the boost. He's going to follow this up. I can tell he's going to be trying to stay uh, relevant on the ball. So I'm going to touch that again. He's going to fake that. Not the best flick, but he's going to bump him. Take the possession over here. Oh! <laughs> I made that a little bit too hard. I made a little bit too hard of a, uh, <laughs> a flip reset flick. Boomed that into the crossbar. My bad. My bad, my bad. I had the space perfectly set up for it. Didn't work out in my favor. I just tried some ch different kickoffs here. Just gonna hit this back to my corner. You won't expect it. And then bring it around. Although I did mess that up. Yeah. Not what I wanted to do with that second touch. But I had the right idea to keep possession. Keep it back to my corner. Ball bounced a little bit too far off the back wall. There we go. To be a good, good finish. That was a pretty good game. Pretty happy with that.
Um, I didn't expect to win that convincingly, but we played really well. Uh, we read his decision making after that first goal. And basically just adapted to what he wanted to do and played around him. Alright, so he is... Let's see. I'm actually top... Oh, there we go. Top 100. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, where is he at though? 1397. Oh my goodness. So he was in the top 20. Um, he's still top 25. I'm surprised the result went the way it did. He's a really good player. Like whenever I play him, he's really consistent. Um, he plays a really good one style. Alright, we got the last game of the video. We got 1248. Ta ha 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 RL. <laughs> what a name, by the way. It's a pretty solid player here. Some fake, fake hits so far. Or fake challenges. Popped up nice and high. So be really thinking about what he wants to do with that touch. Did that pretty well. I was pretty speedy of him too. So I know he's pretty fast. It's alright. He's a little bit overcommitted. Pulled that really hard at him. So he has to make a weird awkward save. And just shoot it at him really hard again. Uh, the way I do those shots is I let the ball bounce just underneath me so I can get a side flip. And it, it sends a lot more power than you expect uh, at the at the net. It all has to do with the timing though of how you flip into that. So you have to be really careful with the last second timing. It's a really awkward place for me to be in. Didn't really deal with it that well either. So to keep it nice and close to me. Pop it up, make him have to waste boost. Oh, there we go. Yeah, once again, same strategy as the last game against Kali. Uh, just get that air dribble to get in the way. Yeah, like I said, though, we haven't we haven't lost more than one game in this series so far, so pretty happy with how it's going so far. Uh, hopefully, we can get into the top 50 with uh, only one loss on our belt as well. There we go. Not to, didn't have to bump him there because he jumped up really early, so I just got an extra pop. Just stayed consistent with it. I like to do those when those balls are bouncing more than like I'd say five car heights. It's really an arbitrary number, but when it's jumping up pretty high, uh, I like to jump before the ball finishes its apex of the of the bounce, uh, and then just follow through with it. That way, you can lighten the the blow of the touch on the ball. I'm not going to hit it. Oh, I meant hit the post. <laughs> um, you can lighten the blow of your first hit. This could be a fast shot here. There we go. Should be a finish. So yeah, you can lighten up the touch uh, by jumping up with it instead of uh, going right with the, the half volley. The reason why is because if you half volley right at the start with the ball bouncing too high, you'll actually lose control of the ball or send it too close to the net. It's a strategy you'll see a lot of pro players do. Uh, a lot of other pro players, anyway. Um, they'll jump up early and just hold onto the ball with a softer air dribble. Try to take a tight shot here. Okay, that was terrible. There we go. Should be able to bump him out of the way. Should be a goal again. I made him a bit of a mistake, but I recovered it by uh, getting a bump on him uh, when he didn't expect it. And he wasn't able to recover in time. So far, so good. Alright, so he'll probably get the boost first. Okay, never mind. He'll get <laughs> he'll get that boost because I bumped him. Just gonna bump him here. Get a stronger 50-50. Get in the way of his shot. Never mind, I couldn't make it. It's a good shot. So I tried to bait in uh like a 50-50 into a bump. Didn't really work out in my favor. I probably could have boosted and flipped back instead of going for that bump there. But Fine. I'm not going to use any of my boosts because he will beat me to that boost. And I have 42 to work with. He's actually going to end up having less than me. It's a good bump. I'm going to avoid it. And then he'll have the ball here. I'll have it again. So I don't want to I don't want to challenge this yet. So land on the wall softly with 49 boost. See what he does here on the challenge. I shouldn't have baited myself in at all on that. It's a good shot too. Yeah, so I really didn't need to bait myself in for that touch. It's not going to do anything. He's going to sit there posturing. I can let him touch it and just wait for him. There we go, solid 50 into a finish. Wasn't the strongest hit, but he's nowhere near, so get a pretty free opening. Recovered a bit of that deficit that we lost there. 
kind of outplay myself. I'm going to bump him. He's not going to expect it. And then I can get the boost off a late flip. But the reason why I flip early, but not late, early flip. Oh, God. No. No, he's going to score. Um, the reason why I flip early is because it keeps the ball soft on the floor. That's way that, that way I'm able to lead the ball rolling in front of the boost. Before I get uh, before I get the boost into the ball, it's a really complex way of saying I just keep the ball low. <laughs> but I'm trying to explain like how I'm how I'm thinking about what I'm doing on the challenges. I'm actually gonna rush the ball here because I'm gonna get the boost. Put it across. Should be alright. I'll let him hit it into me. There we go. Sit this back. He might jump right on this right away. Stay close in the wall here. Don't have to waste his boost. Wait until he baits himself out of the play. It's a good flip. Might not get the boost though. There we go. All right, he left the ball, so a little bit more room to play with. It's pretty low. So the reason why I shoot it right away is because he's gonna be landing the net if he's low. So I'll just pop it over him again. Popping it again. See what he does. Super awkward. He might go for that back corner now because I gave him some space for it, but I knew he would just bait himself in for that. To be alright. So I'm just wasting a lot of time here with this situation. So if he touches this, like once again, these high loft the balls are working for me because I'm the one working on time. And he missed the ball. Once again, all these little touches are just going to uh, waste time for me. He could have shot that immediately instead of uh, going for that first half. I just missed the boost. Instead of going for that half volley touch. He also looped a little bit too wide on that. So I was able to attack him before he can get a touch around me. So I'm just reading him. I'm not looking at the ball at all. I kind of I know where the ball is rolling to, so I'm watching his body language. And then I can get an idea of how I want to attack. If he's too close to the ball, then I won't I won't charge like that. But he looped out super wide. I'm going to fake that so he stays near the ball and stays low boost. There we go. He'll get the boost here. Unless he wants to ch chase me. Okay, he left the ball. Let's see if I can get one more here. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We got one final goal. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, let's see where we're at after this. Uh, on the leaderboard, but really enjoying the series so far. Oh, I didn't say GG. Oops. Um, we're at 1330 uh, so far on the leaderboard. Yeah, before I end this video, let's check the leaderboard out real quick. We'll hop out of this lobby. Um, so we got seven points. We should be at 1330. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I don't know why we're at 1329, but it could be one of those decimal things. We're already a quarter way through the leaderboard, though. We're at 76. Um, hopefully, we can get some more wins and get closer to the top 50 or top 25 in the next video or so. Uh, but until next time, have a good one, guys. Peace out.